Hi guys, it's Caitlin and this is Book Chats and it is that time of the month which is to say I have to unwrap more books. I am going to start with the books that I unwrapped last time and one of them is Children of the New World Stories by Alexander Weinstein. Weinstein? I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right. Anyway, you can tell exactly how far I got because I left the bookmark in. I basically read three and a half stories in this and I had some notes on them and I just found that every story my notes were saying the same thing, which is that it felt very underdeveloped. I did go on Goodreads and look to see if there were any stories that people really loved. So I don't feel bad about DNFing this. I am going to go drop it off in the little free library across the street. The other book, and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to give this to a friend of mine who's a fan of this author or if I'm going to drop it off in the little free library, but I decided to DNF this collection of David Sedaris short stories called Holidays on Ice. They're all holiday related. Some of them are essays and some of them are stories. So they are, some of them are nonfiction, but some of them are not. Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of David Sedaris, despite the fact that I'm exposed to him a lot. Started reading the first story and I could hear his voice and I just was like, I'm too tired and too emotionally blah to deal with your sarcasm right now, David Sedaris. So I did actually finish The Great Divorce, which I think was in my last video, and I don't know where it has gone to. It has like wandered off in my apartment. The other one that I unwrapped last month that I did finish was The Great Good Thing, a novel by Roderick Townley, and I just was very disappointed by this book. I don't think it could decide what it really wanted to be, whether it wanted to urge people to like go outside of their comfort zones and do not just the thing that they were used to, or whether it wanted them to be the person that they're supposed to be that society tells them they are. Like it had kind of a mixed message. And just in general, I felt like it felt like a much older book than it was. This book was published in 2001, but it felt like something that was published in the 80s from like the tone of it. I was just not a fan. And if you'll remember, the fourth book that I unwrapped last month was one of my most anticipated books, and that was Boundaries, Where You End and I Begin by Anne Catherine. And I have started this, barely, I'm just on the first chapter. It's just going to be a little slower because it has exercises you're supposed to do as you go, and that just takes a little more time because it actually requires me to like sit and think about things. So I decided that going forward I will mention all the books I unwrapped in my previous video to let you know where I am on those, but any previously unwrapped books I will only mention if I actually finish them or if I decide to get rid of it. So I have one more book to unwrap that was the skinniest of its kind, and that is this one. It's the skinniest of the newly bought books. And then I decided for the other three that I was going to unwrap three of my four borrowed books. This one, which I know what it is because it's a nonfiction paper and I've only borrowed one nonfiction book. And then these two, one of which I know what it is and one of which I literally don't remember borrowing because I thought I had only borrowed three books. But I know that one of the ones that I know I've borrowed is still up there. So I have no idea what one of these is and I know what the other one is. Anyway, I decided to unwrap these to finally get them back to the people that I borrowed them from because they were lent to me more than a year ago, all three of them. So... Um, so that's what I'm going to unwrap and I'm going to try to hold them up by my face so you guys can actually see me unwrapping them because Sylvia does that when she unwraps and I love watching her unwrapping and so I'm trying to like be better about doing this. Um, so we're unwrapping this one first. This I should remember what it is because I bought it very recently but I, I can't remember. Something I bought from the library probably. I thought maybe it could be one specific thing. But um, I don't think that's this skinny. It's definitely an X library book. Okay, I'm going to try to open it so you guys can see it. You can see that? Oh, 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 I know what this is. Um, this is Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. You might have heard of Taylor Jenkins Reid because her newest book, The Seven Husbands of Elvin, oh, of Evelyn Hugo? Is that right? But I know about it because one of my friends has been recommending her to me for a long time. She loves Taylor Jenkins Reid and this is one of her books and I saw it on sale at the library so I picked it up and yeah I hopefully will get through this. Time for my borrowed books. I know what this one is. It's nonfiction, um, and I borrowed it from a friend of mine who's a PA um, which is a physician's assistant so it makes sense that this is what I would borrow from her. Oh, I lied. I lied. 
this is not my nonfiction paper. That's my nonfiction paper. What did I borrow from someone that's nonfiction? This is uh, my fairy tale retelling paper uh, slash historical. So this is actually historical. I borrowed this two years ago. Two years ago, just after I moved to San Antonio from a friend of mine who's in the book club I'm part of down here. And she recommended it. It's a collection of short stories from China. So they're translated. I'm really interested in this collection. She has highly recommended it. She lent it to me and I would really like to get it back to her. I'm going to actually have to read these this month, guys. Okay. So one of these books is that book that I borrowed from my friend who's a PA. And one of them, I have literally no idea. Who else did I borrow nonfiction from? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, I didn't borrow this. I own this. So I just, like, put a bow on it for fun? I don't know, guys. It was a questionable choice. Um, this is going to be a uh, tricky month, let me tell you. Um, so this is The Wretched of the Earth by Franz Fanon. He is a um, French man who is from French... One of the French islands. So he is a black man in France who wrote a lot about colonialism and also about being black in France. We read a chapter of this book for one of my college classes when we watched the Battle of Algiers, which I highly recommend. It's a really beautiful film. So I have been intending to read since we read that in my class because that one chapter was so good, so compelling, had so much to say about the world. And this is really timely because there's been a lot of conversations about colonialism lately. I think that I will learn a lot from it, but I do not know how fast I will get through it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And I have no idea why I had that bow on it because I own this book. All right. <clears throat> okay. So then I know what this book is. And that is the book I borrowed from my friend who's a PA. No, it's not. I own this book too. Why is there a... Where's the other book that I borrowed? I'm literally holding my friend's book hostage. What was I thinking when I wrapped these? This is the book. It's Under the Banner of Heaven by John Krakauer. I actually have attempted to read this once before and it was just doing a number on me because I was listening to the audiobook and it was a poor choice to do that. Um, but I own this book as well. I thought the book this was going to be was Atul Gawande's first novel. Um, which I think is called Complications. My friend who's a PA lent to me his first book but no, apparently that's lost on my shelf somewhere. Anyway, I am really interested in this book and I will probably end up lending it to a friend of mine after I read it, who is my Mormon friend and source of all my Mormon knowledge. This is specifically about <clears throat> the, I think it's about a specific like sort of true time case and there was this murder that they felt that like God had called them to do. And like John Krakauer wrote this book and kind of examines the way, I think the book is specifically about the FLDS church, which is, stands for the Fundamentalist Latter-day Saints Church, which is like the Mormons who continue to practice polygamy and have a lot of other things going on and are definitely not associated with the modern day LDS church. Um, so I think that this book looks at the FLDS church and the ways that their religion affects that and the power that they have in certain parts of the country and the struggle that the government has in sort of limiting them. So I feel like I might end up pushing some of these books to November. We'll see just because of nonfiction November. And honestly, I'm going to wrap unwrap only nonfiction books in November. I'm telling you guys that now. I would recommend if you haven't read a crack hour book yet, not starting with this one. I think that this one is a little more kind of specific unless you like really want to know about the FLDS church. So I am excited to get to this. Um, yeah. I don't know why it had that sticker on it, but I feel extra bad now and I might just read all my non all my skinny nonfiction for like a while to try to find that one. And then what if it ends up just being in my most anticipated guys? What if that's true? Anyway, we'll see.
let me hold up for you the books that I unwrapped this month so you can see what I've gotten myself into. Here's what I unwrapped this month. We've got uh, Maybe in Another Life, which it is now looking like there's a high chance I will get to because it's the like lightest of the three. We've got a Love in a Fallen City by Eileen Chang, which is a translated work and is also his like historical collection of short stories. Um, the Wretched of the Earth by Franz Fanon, which is also a translated work and is really beautifully written and very thoughtful and is a lot about colonialism and racism. And Under the Banner of Heaven, a story of Violet Faith by John Krakauer, which is going to be a difficult but compelling read, I presume. <sighs> Wish me luck. We'll see how I do. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.